to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So my FabFitFun winter box and add-ons just arrived at my door. I'm freshly out of the shower, bare face, no makeup, my hair is all wet, so take me as I am, please. <laughs> I just really wanted to get into this unboxing, so I kind of did it again. I got a real big box here. So we're gonna get into it. I got a mega mystery bundle and I have not peeked at what is in the mega mystery bundles. I wasn't even sure that I was gonna get it, but I kind of just fell asleep the night the sale was closing, so I ended up getting it. I was still kind of like 80% sure. Anyway, let's get into it. So I think I'll do the mega mystery bundle after the rest of my add-ons, which aren't very many. I actually didn't get very many add-ons otherwise. Here's the box. It's super cute. There we go. Here's the box, but we're going to do that last. I'll put, as always, in the description box below what I pay for each of these items. So this is the Hand Skin Hyaluron Skin Essence Bundle. I really wanted this for the uh, essence. It's not called the Skin Essence Bundle. It's called the Skin Bundle. Hyaluron Skin Bundle. Anyway, I wanted it for the essence. I bought... So this is their big bottle, and I bought this, I think, in their last winter sale, and this is their 10 ounce bottle. I love this stuff. It's an amazing, just unscented, pure hyaluronic acid uh, skin essence, and I put it on practically every night and most mornings, too. So um, this one, this bundle came with that. I think it's only a 5 ounce bottle, but I was really excited to see this so I could get some for when I run out of this. So this that's the difference in size. So this is the one that I got. This one's twice as much as this one, but it lasts a long time. I think I've had this one for going on a year. So it's amazing stuff. I really, I really like it. And then it also, this bundle came with a moisturizing cream. So I'll see how that is. I'm hoping that I like it just as well. These hair cutting scissors don't work on hair anymore. So they've become just scissors. It looks pretty. So this is a K-Beauty brand. I think if this is anything like the Skin Essence, this is probably a very straightforward, unscented moisturizing cream. So I'm excited to try this. And then it also came with, and I tried to avoid sheet masks. Two reasons, one, you can it's just so easily to accumulate like a mountain of them. And then also the one time use things are a little bit wasteful, so I try not to contribute. I got ink on my thumbnail. Okay, so uh, it has three of these and they are just Hyaluron Moisture Masks. Pink microfiber, yeah, that's not so great for the environment, but I'm excited to try these as well. So that was that little bundle. Oh, and then I got a Corksicle because I have a swell bottle from a past cause box uh, that is now leaking for some reason, Corksicle. So this brand is supposed to be really good and it was a really good deal in the sale. So hopefully this one doesn't fail me and start le leaking as well. I just bought my husband a Corksicle mug for our one year anniversary. <laughs> so romantic. And uh, he really likes it. I got, so I have been striking out on facial cleansers. I've actually been kind of striking out lately. I realized when I was taking a shower just now that I don't have anything in my shower other than a grown alchemist product that I really truly love using right now. My shampoo, my conditioner, all of it, it's like okay, I'm just using it to use it up. Anyway, so I've been striking out on cleansers as well, so I bought two <laughs> of these because these were perfectly fine. They practically have no scent, and they're $5 each in the sales. I think, oh, the, other than pegs, which some people like to avoid pegs, that ingredient, I am still, for me, the jury's out on whether or not I'm avoiding that ingredient. I'll try to remember to put an article in the description box below about why some people think pegs aren't so good. There's a lot of conflicting information on the internet about that ingredient, and I just, honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the story. So, and then I'm pregnant, so I'm almost 13 weeks pregnant, and I was reading one of the things that is recommended is for constipation. You get constipation sometimes when you're pregnant, and one of the things that's recommended for constipation is polyethylene glycol, which is the PEG ingredient, and that's what's in Miralax. And that I need to look into this more because 
That's ingesting. That's not just putting it on your face. That's ingesting polyethylene glycol. So the jury for me is out on that ingredient. I don't really know what I think. Let me know if you have thoughts about it. If you have, maybe you're a scientist and you can say a little bit more about it. That's the only ingredient in here that I've seen be questionable at all. But other than that, it's a very simple, well, there's a lot of ingredients in here, but a lot of it is like fruit extracts and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. I really liked this cleanser. Simple, practically unscented, barely foams, if at all. And I bought two, $5 each, because I know I like it and I haven't been able, I haven't been using a cleanser that I like in a while, since I ran out of this one, actually. Um, oh no, and then the Grown, Alchemi Grown Alchemist Clean Cream Cleanser is really amazing, too. I'm really excited to have gotten my box. I feel like I'm talking a lot in a mile a minute. Anyway, so I got two of those. And then I have, I don't have a backup foot cream and I love putting foot cream on at night. And so I got this Ahava one. I like the Ahava brand. So this is the Ahava Dead Sea Mud Dermud Intense Foot Cream. And I threw that in my cart. So it just looks like that. It's a little bit fragranced, and you know, I'm remembering now that their hand cream, I had their water hand cream, and that one had a fragrance to it too. It's not too, it's not too potent, actually. Yeah, it feels good. I'm sure that I will like this. I'm using the Hey Honey Walk the Walk foot cream right now, and if you are new to my channel, I have raved about that in the past. I got that from FabFitFun. If it ever shows up in a sale again, I would recommend getting it. I really like it. It has a slight pepperminty scent, but it's really awesome, and my husband likes it too. So I got this. This is the Renee... Furter, Furter, Control Emotion, Emulsion. So I read that this is like a styling cream and I was actually quite surprised to see that this had some really, really good reviews. Uh, I was surprised because I think they had a hair mask in prior sales that had somewhat decent reviews, but this one has really good reviews. And not only, so if you have curly hair and you don't know, this is like a styling cream, and styling creams are really work really well in curly and waving, wavy hair. Uh, they're, this is curl defining anti frizz, so uh, it had good reviews from other curly girls. And then also, my husband really likes the styling creams that I use, so I thought he might also like this one. We had a favorite that was discontinued a while ago, so I've been trying to help him find a new favorite. I have ink all over my hands somehow. So then I also got the Aranco Acid Wash apple cider vinegar hair rinse. I'm using the DP Hue one right now and you know what it's okay I actually as I'm using it I'm about halfway through I don't really know what all the hype is about it's nice because it doesn't smell like much it has kind of a eh smell but very subtle and then the other thing is I went back on forth when I was reviewing this before and I must have seen somewhere where it was an error in what the ingredients were. But this has a formaldehyde releaser in it. And if you don't like formaldehyde releasers, this has one in it. But, um, you know, otherwise, I, it does the job. It does get my hair quite clean. But for me, I, I'm not going to purchase it again. I'm not, I'm not going to purchase it again. But there are a lot of people who really get excited. It says it's safe. It's good for color-treated hair. So I wonder if... There's something about that as well. My hair is not color treated. Anyway, so I'm very curious what I'm gonna think of this little baby one. Look, it looks like, anyway, it's so so much smaller. And we'll see, I actually had gotten one, I'm talking a lot, I have gotten one from uh, TJ Maxx that was uh, pretty good. I think it was by Nature Love or something like that. So, and then I got the free thing by Giovanni Eco She Care Care. Oh, it's eco friendly. So, this was the free sponsored item. And it says Tea Tree Triple the Tree Invigorating Shampoo for All Hair Types. Contains botanical oils of cooling peppermint, conditioning rosemary, and clarifying eucalyptus. So, this is vegan, cruelty free, infused with natural botanicals, ingredients, recyclable packaging, no harmful sulfates, pegs. See, this is this this excludes pegs. I have to get to the bottom of that. Parabens, mineral oil, propylene glycol, phthalates, and artificial dyes. So let's see what the ingredients are. Let's see if anything jumps out. No, looks great. Looks great. I'm excited to use this. 
Oh, I didn't realize that this was so vegan and environmentally friendly. Family owned and operated since 1979. Cool. And then the last add-on that I got was I am running out of my, my LMS eye cream. This I got a year ago in a winter LMS collection kit. That was such a good deal. The LMS stuff was not a good deal this time around, but I got that in that kit and that is running out. So I try, I'm try. i going to try the Freck. This is the So Jelly Cactus Eye Jelly. So it's really, really light, but there it is. And this will be next in line for my eye cream. The Freck stuff had pretty decent reviews. People were really excited to see it in the sales and excited to try it and all that. This is a really decent amount of eye cream. Look at that. So this one is half an ounce. And then this one is 1.3 ounces. So that's it. So I'll let you guys know what I think. I always do product reviews. Actually, I want to do a product review video. As I mentioned, my next product review video will probably just, just be a bunch of misses because I haven't really liked what I've been using lately. Okay, now this is it. This is my mega mystery bundle that I ended up buying. I don't know that I necessarily want it but I have been really excited to see what's in here. Another thing is that I realized is that I try to do cruelty free and by purchasing a mega mystery bundle where I don't know what's going to be in it, I will potentially get things that aren't cruelty free and so that was a little bit of a oops, my mistake on that and I already see something in here from Chlorine which is not cruelty free. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get a sip by Swell Bottle, I was thinking about getting one because they were just a wonderful little gift. So it came with a sip by Swell Bottle. This is a great present. Oh, this is a Wish, oh, Wish Exfoliating Foot Mask. Maybe I'll take it out and show you. This came in the spring box. I have it. I don't, I don't like it very much. I like Wish uh, for a lot of reasons, but I don't, um, this stuff was weird. Uh, so it's like that. So I don't know. If you liked it, let me know. Um, maybe we can work out an exchange. Oh, dark hot chocolate. Vegan, fair trade, small batch, all plant based elements truffles. So the deal with the Mega Mystery Bundle is there's supposed to be like over $400 worth of stuff in here and it cost $87. So there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. I don't know how many items. Someone said 13 items. Okay, so this is the hot chocolate. I'll bring this home for Christmas. This is the David's Natural Toothpaste. I've thought about trying this too, but my husband and I are kind of into the kind of toothpaste we like, and we always use the same one from Costco. Um, can't get that to focus for some reason. This It's fluoride-free and sulfate-free. This is huge. Tube key, uh, there's a little tube key. Slide on end and roll. Oh, this is to help roll your toothpaste up. Wow, fancy. Okay, well, it appears I can't, I can't get this out, so I'm not going to. It's a tube of toothpaste by David's. So far, I think I could have saved my money. Oh, and here's a human and kind body scrub. So they had a human and kind lotion in the summer box, summer box, fall box, uh, and here's a body scrub. I think I remember seeing this in one of the sales. I do like body scrubs, so this is totally, totally fine. Oh, I got a rodeo product, my first rodeo product. I've been wanting to try them. So this is the Dragon's Blood Lip Plumper. I don't have a lot of faith in stuff like limp, limp plumpers. I don't think that they really work in the long run, but I will let you guys know what I think about that. And you know what? Here's the chlorine. And I will tell you that I've heard wonderful things about this particular shampoo and conditioner. Uh, I just wouldn't ever buy it or choose to buy it because chlorine's not cruelty free. But since I have it, I will try it and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. So I have heard wonderful things about that stuff. Oh, there's, here's this Cuccio brand. I did get it one regular mystery bundle once a while back. I think it was last spring. And they sent me some of this Cuccio yoga stuff where it's like mat, yoga mat spray and I think there was an oil in it or something also. Anyway, so this is yoga cooling spot therapy with peppermint and green tea. Temple rub for clarity and peace of mind. Yeah. 
Not gonna use that very much, I don't think. Maybe I'll try it and it'll change my life. I love, so this is a retinol peel. I love retinol. Retinol is one of the things that has made my face look the best ever. I can't use it right now because I'm pregnant, so hopefully the uh, this doesn't expire for a while. But this is Dr. Denise Skin Science Firmatone RX Retinol Peel with Retinol Maximum Technology and Collagen. I don't remember this one from a sale. Uh, that doesn't mean it wasn't there though. I love retinol. I love retinol. I can't wait. I haven't used retinol in a while because we've been we were trying to get pregnant for like seven months, so I never bought any. Here's a hand cream by E Volcano. E Volcano. It looks like that. I'm not gonna open this because I might I might gift it. We're getting down to the wire here. Oh, this is a. Vegamore, Vegamore. This is, I've seen these in sales. This one is for, it's a volumizing serum for your brows. For your brows. Okay, well, what does it look like? It looks like this. And the, this brand has been in the sales a lot. Oh, well, a Kopari. So this is Kopari Coconut Face Cream, Hydrate and Nourish. Kopari is pretty decent. People have really said really good things about a lot of their stuff. I got a lip balm of theirs in one of the sales because I had a Jouer one from a past sale, which the Jouer one is amazing. I dread the day I run out and I haven't seen it show up in a sale again. And then their uh, lip balm isn't quite as good as it's actually, it's good, but it's nowhere near as good. So this is a coconut face cream, and it's sealed, so that's great. I'm gonna leave it sealed. I, ha I have plenty of face creams in this haul right now. And then I have one last thing, and I'm not gonna open this because I think it is either giftable or tradable. I know what it is. It's a passport holder. I've seen it in sales. So I would say if I, if I knew that this stuff was in it, I wouldn't have gotten it. I would not have gotten it. But I am not mad that I did. So that was the Mega Mystery Bundle. I'm just curious. Now for the box. So this is what it looks like. It's really super cute. That's really cute. I love the colors. If you've if you've noticed that I, I love a lot of pinks and baby blues. I use it a lot on my thumbnails. Shamelessly. Oh, it's so pink. And then there it is, as it usually looks. And it has the magazine, and this person looks so familiar. Is this Christy Brinkley? No, Maria Shriver. <gasps> she would be so flattered to know I confused her with Christy Brinkley. <laughs> uh, so they always feature a famous person in their magazines, and in this magazine it'll show some more information on the content. So I'm going to keep that close by so I can refer to it. And then if you are new and watching this out of curiosity, this is... It always comes with a couple coupons. This one is use this code and you'll get $15 off your first box. I think it used to be $10 off. So go ahead and use that code if you would like to get $15 off your first box. And then here is nine free meals from HelloFresh. There's another code. I'm not gonna use that. So if you wanna pause that and try to be the first one to use it. Feel free now. <clears throat> For the first selection, I chose this unhide blanket. I have throws, but I'm sure I've heard this one is supposed to, um, the fur is supposed to mimic chinchilla, which is one of the softest animals I have ever had the pleasure of petting. So I will probably leave this packaged. I'm sure there are a lot of unboxings where you can see this um, opened up if you're curious, but I'm gonna leave this packaged. So I, you could have either gotten, there were like five choices this time with the uh, first big choice. And so you could have either gotten this blanket, you could have gotten the r Co. You could have gotten this candle, you could have gotten the hat and gloves, or you could have gotten the Kate Somerville ex um, goat milk moisturizer. The blanket retails for $65, the Kate Somerville goat milk moisturizer retail for $65, the r Co shampoo and conditioner was $64, the candle was $48, 
the hat and arm warmer arm warmers I said uh, gloves but arm warmers were ooh seventy dollars I didn't notice that those seventy dollars and then this candle right here forty eight dollars so I got the throw now the next thing I have here is Rodeal. So now is my big chance to try some Rodeal products. So I got the Soft Focus Glow Drops. You could have gotten these and I'll show them to you. Uh, you could have gotten these. There is, a, I believe this is a bracelet, eyelashes, or some face masks. So could have gotten the Rodeal, the bracelet, eyelashes, or face masks. How much are these eyelashes worth? Oh, they're silk. $32 for the eyelashes. And the bracelet was $39. The sheet masks, $42 by a brand called Karuna. And then this Rodeal product is $55. So they're soft glow drops that can be used on your face and body. So I want to try them on the back of my hand. I'm really excited for glow drops. I've actually been kind of wanting some for a while. So it looks like this. Let's see. So it looks like that. So it looks like that on, oh, just straight out of the bottle. Smells a little bit grapefruity. I love grapefruit, so that's fine. It's very, I almost, I feel like, so that, this hand has nothing. <laughs> It's definitely not picking up, but you know what? It's very subtle, so it's very, very subtle. I wonder if I need to shake it or something. I don't see anything. I'll, I'll, I always, if you're new to my channel, I always give reviews on products that I've been using, so I'll let you know what I think after trying it out for a few times and making sure that it's not user error. Look at all that. So this is something that everybody got. It's the makeup eraser, and I actually have some already. They're basically just microfiber hand towels. Um, but this says it retails for $20, which I think is just kind of silly. It's a microfiber cloth. They do work well to get makeup off, but it's a microfiber face cloth. $20. Now this one was a choice, and you could have either gotten this, which is an instant brush cleaner. Uh, color switch, which is a really, really clever name. So when you're doing your makeup, and we all do this, right, where uh, we just use the same brush and try to blow off as much of the product as possible and then use it in a different color. So this is just kind of like a little uh, disc that you can uh, rub. It feels a little like st steel wool that you can rub your, but softer, but it, that you can rub your brush on and uh, get as more of the product off so that you can transition colors. So I thought that that looked kind of interesting. It is kind of just like another thing <laughs> that I you don't really, really need, but of the choices, that's what I wanted. So the choices for that were, it looks like there were only two, is that right? That's not right, there were three choices. So the choices for that were Ahava bath salts, which I have some, so right there, and those retailed for $16. Or the color switch thing I just showed you, which retailed for $16.99. Or this Frank Body Coffee Scrub, which retails for $16.95. So that one. Okay, now the next thing. I've been wanting to try it. Lux Me. This is the brand, L-X-M-I, and I read that it's pronounced Lux Me, so that's how I'm saying it. And this one was a choice, and it, so what it is, is it is, I will read the, I will read you the description. It is 100% organic balm to oil deeply nourishes as it hydrates, brightens, and protects skin, and it's worth $28. You could have also gotten this palette, the proof is in the pudding palette, for $38. You could have gotten this crossbody bag, which I almost added on, 
um, but then I took it out, which was $17.99, and you could have gotten, oh, and I almost added this on to this beautiful planner right there, and that was $27.95. Five. So that's the Lux Me. I'm excited for that. Then I have, what is this one? Oh, this must be something everybody got. It's more of that Cuccio Yoga stuff. But you can see how excited I am about that brand. I should really try it before I start. I, it's just, not, I don't know. Anyway, I have never tried any of it, so it could be really amazing. It's the Cuccio Somatology. This is Calm and Clean Epsom salt hand and body wash with lavender oil so this is something I don't remember choosing but this one says it's a choice you know what on their customizations there was a sixth choice that was really you couldn't choose didn't make any sense so I couldn't choose this so I think maybe it defaulted but I don't remember I remember there being a sixth choice but it was just random and then when I finished customizing it said for choice number six surprise me so maybe it was a surprise me choice anyway. I don't I don't know I don't really know how to explain this one. So it could have either been this, which retails for $39.95, holy smokes. Or it could have been a hand mask duo. That one. Which retails for $16. So the one I got is worth a heck of a lot more. And then there's one last thing in here, and I actually have already heard some pretty good stuff about this one. This is the Dry Bar. It's Pep Rally. It's a Prime and Prep Detangler. So I imagine it's kind of like an It's a 10 or the Briogeo uh, Leave-In Milk or whatever it's called. I have it over there, but you know, a Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And this retails for $23. Oh no, there's something else. Oh, yeah, there's more. Buried amongst the little paper packaging things are the slippers. <laughs> How could I forget? So some people were really curious about the size. I ordered a small, I wear a size seven and a half. Seven's fine and stuff like this. So the small medium was supposed to go up to a size Seven, I believe and so that's fine so let me go and find what the choices were on this one these slippers are worth and they feel really high quality really comfortable I'll let you guys know what I think of them but they look they look great these are worth $45 and they're by PJ salvage and you could have gotten those or um, Erno Laszlo pore cleansing clay mask which is that one right there or you could have gotten the Lashes MD eyelash conditioner. And I believe those were all, no, or you could have gotten, oh, the shower speaker, shower, Bluetooth shower speaker. Lashes MD eyelash conditioner was worth $69.95. The Laszlo, Erno, Erno Laszlo clay mask was worth, is worth $48.00 and the Bluetooth speaker $30. Now I am done. I, again, I will put everything uh, in the description box below along with what I paid for it. And I thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.